Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, my name is Carla and I make videos about how I show up for myself in hopes of inspiring you to do the same. Over the last number of years, by showing up for myself, I've completely transformed my entire life, losing over half my body weight, transforming my mental health, changing career, and generally just living a much better life than I did in the past. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five more, so this is part two, I'll leave part one up here, myths that I personally busted during my weight loss journey. There are so many lies about weight loss. There are so many things, assumptions that people make about weight loss that are complete and utter BS. And I have personally busted a lot of them. Without further ado, let's get into it. Myth number one is that weight loss is forever. We have this idea that if you have to lose weight, then you are going to be eating in a calorie deficit for the rest of your life. That means that you're gonna be deprived for the rest of your life, that you're going to be hungry for the rest of your life, that you're never gonna be able to enjoy life normally. And that is a complete and utter myth. Bust it. Because I am living my life now, a year and a half into my maintenance, I am maintaining my weight, but living my life. I have found the perfect balance between eating what I want to eat. And as through my weight loss journey, what I've wanted to eat has definitely changed. It's more towards the healthier, but I enjoy going in and getting a slice of cake and cornucopia, maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. And maybe then when we go out on a Saturday for brunch as a family, I'm gonna have some waffles because I love waffles. And then maybe days that I won't have waffles, but it doesn't mean that I can't eat what I want to eat when I want to eat it. It does mean there that I can't overeat and go back to the old habits because that will eventually cause me to put weight on. However, in general, the myth that I busted is that the weight loss is forever. Weight loss is sold to us as this forever stance because people make money out of you wanting to lose weight. If you go to any of those big, well-known weight loss clubs, you know, it's always about like, congratulations, you've come back, even though you've put on two pounds, you've lost two pounds, you've put on two pounds, you've lost two pounds, you've put on two pounds, you've lost two pounds. And it's just this vicious, never ending hamster wheel of annoyance and weight loss. And guys, it doesn't have to be that way. By choosing to lose weight in a deliberate manner for a short amount of time, that is true weight loss. That is going at it for a finite amount of time. So knowing that this is going to end. And that's why for me, the Body Sims program works really well. I'll leave my video linked up here if you guys like to check out more about Body Sims. But it teaches us about how important it is in order to do this in bursts as opposed to having to do this forever because let's face it most of us have been on some kind of diet if you're anything like me had been on some kind of diet my whole life my whole life i know so many women who are watching what they eat and yes i watch what i eat but i don't watch what i eat in comparison to what i used to watch the way i watch what i eat i'm conscious i'm making good choices but it's not a hard slog this doesn't have to be forever. And I'm living proof that it doesn't have to be forever. Because I had chips the other day and they were delicious. And I love chips. Myth bust number two. Fat is the devil. Eating fat is gonna make you fat. No, it's not. Eating too much fat is going to make you fat. Eating too much of anything is going to make you fat. Yes, in terms of calories, fat is more caloric calorifically dense than some the majority of other foods than protein or carbohydrates etc however eating fat does not you don't consume it and then it turns into fat it goes in to like fuel into your body like anything else and can be processed some people process fat better some people process protein whatever however we have been sold by the diet industry over the last 20 30 years that low fat is the only way to go and that's because they were making a lot of money out of that diet industry and the food industry was preying on people like us to that they knew that we wanted to lose weight. So they came up with this magical thing that low fat, therefore low calories is gonna be better. When actually things that are low fat, unless they're naturally lower in fat, like vegetables, etc., things that are labeled low fat, most likely have all of the nutrients taken out of them and a load of chemicals and crap pumped into them to replace the fat. Whereas if you're gonna eat butter, eating a small amount of butter is probably gonna be better for you than eating low fat butter. Eating low fat butter is fine. It'll probably help you get to your weight loss goal and eating a smaller amount of butter 
might increase your likelihood of not getting to that goal if you're having an entire pound of butter. But fat is not the issue. It is consuming excessive amounts of calories. That is the issue. So whether you're eating tons of calorifically dense food like fat, or you're eating tons of calorifically or non-calorifically dense food and you're eating over into your uh, over your calorie allowance, it's gonna have the same impact. But low fat is not the answer. Fat is not the devil. In fact, fat can actually really help you to feel satiated and to feel really good. I love avocados and I ate avocados the whole way through my weight loss. I ate small amounts of olive oil and I'm talking small amounts. I'm not talking about like pouring olive oil over everything, but eating fat does not make you fat. Myth busting number three is that your weight loss is going to slow down as you get towards your goal. This could seem true, but it's semantical. And what happens is that people start to think that and start to believe that in their head and it becomes their reality because they're telling themselves, it's gonna slow down as I get towards my goal. That's gonna be the hardest part is to get off the last five pounds, the last 10 pounds, etc. Weight loss will continue proportionately if you do the actions and the, the habits and what you need to do to get to your goal weight. Yes, there are people who will experience it slowing down, but the slowing down is proportional to the amount of weight. The idea of slowing down is proportional to the amount of weight rather than it actually slowing down. So take, for example, at the start, I, when I was weighing 323 pounds, I was losing give or take three pounds a week, some weeks, not every week. In the last week of my weight loss or the last weeks of my weight loss, I was losing between one and one and a half pounds during that time but the amount that I had to lose had reduced so much that it was actually proportional to the weight that I was at the start and how much I was losing at the start and just to let you know that my last week of weight loss I dropped four pounds in that week and I didn't change anything it was just my body decided to give things up and I didn't believe the hype and the myth that weight loss slows down at the end. I chose not to believe it. And I just went and I kept going and did the things that I needed to do. I didn't change up anything. I walked a little bit extra. I think I walked like half an hour extra every two days, but that's it. And I still managed to lose those four pounds in the last week. So just to let you know that that doesn't have to be true for everybody. And of course, everybody's different and you cannot compare weight loss of other people to your journey. But just to let you know that that does not have to be your reality. And please don't listen to that myth and write it into a script for your weight loss journey. Myth number four. This is about time as well. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, you have to lose your weight slowly now. Oh, is that not too fast to lose weight? Oh no, is that... This comes back to when I was talking in tip one about the difference between weight loss and weight maintenance, which is what we were doing previously with all those other programs, just coming back. We're so conditioned by those big companies to believe that weight loss is, has to be a very long time because the more you go back to those big companies, the more only money they're going to earn. Call me cynical, but it's a billion, multi, probably trillion dollar industry. They're earning money off us not reaching our goal weight. Whereas when we take that ideal that this doesn't actually have to be slow and weight loss, just for a, like a, an example, most people think that weight loss is going to go like this. And what it's probably going to do is this the whole way down. And that can be steady. It can be steady because it's jumping up and down because we're humans and we have biological things going on inside us, but it doesn't have to be this mammoth long four or five year slog. You know, when you look at somebody who has bi uh, bariatric surgery, and I'm not throwing shade on anybody who's had bar bariatric surgery, it's an incredibly tough experience. It's incredibly life-changing and it does work for people. When you have a bariatric surgery, you're reducing the size of your stomach so that you can eat less and be comfortable with it. It's kind of a similar process. You're eating less and being comfortable with it without having in a, that's what I did, but without having part of my stomach removed or stapled or sleeved. I just ate less, ate within a calorie allowance that allowed me to lose weight at a rate that I was comfortable with, that I was happy with. And that's what matters. There's this idea that it has to be, you know, it can only be one pound a week. It can only be that. I checked with my GP about my rate of weight loss and he was very happy with it. 
and I lost four, uh, 13 stone or 183 pounds in 14 months because I was dedicated. Now I didn't, I straight lined it to the, to the point of being like, I want this and I did everything in it. If that is not for you, if it is not like blinkers on, this is the only thing I am doing for this time, that's okay but it doesn't have to be a long time. That's what I'm saying. And please, all of this is with a pinch of salt. And of course, consult all of your GPs, dietitians, whatever, if you want to. I am not a medical professional, but these are the myths that I busted. So I thought when I started off, when I had, I originally thought I was gonna lose 140 pounds. That was my goal. I thought I was going to, it was gonna take me, I thought it was gonna take me about three years to lose that weight, to lose 140 pounds. And honestly, the idea of having to lose weight in that length of time and to give up three years of my life, I was like, I don't like this idea. This is a really long time and this is gonna be awful. I did it through the Body Sims program and I know other people who've had amazing, like I think there's another lady, I cannot remember her name and I'm really sorry if you're watching this. I think she's lost 130 in a year. Like, it doesn't, like, I'm not the only one. So just please remember that it doesn't have to be this ever, never ending slog. And guys, myth busted number five is that you have to be motivated to lose weight. Now, motivation obviously helps. It does. Motivation is this thing that we all search for. And there are times in our lives where we are motivated to lose weight. So we get that like, that snap. I have to do something about this. I need to do something about this. I want to do something about this. And then you start your journey and four, five, six weeks, hours, days, whatever it might be for you, that motivation starts to wane. And then it's like, what do I do now? And you need to find something that's gonna pick that up. And that, my friends, is consistency. It's about building the days on top of each other to get that compound interest of the work and the action that you put in, in order to get you to your goal weight. And that's what I had to do. Because guys, I can tell you that I was not motivated for 14 months. There is no part of me that was motivated for 14 months. I was probably motivated, I'd say 30% of that time. That's a conservative estimate. 30 give or take 30% of the time that I was doing this, I was motivated to lose weight. The rest of the time it was about being consistent and just doing it, doing the damn thing and getting it over with and just being like, okay, fine. We all look for this, but actually what we do is we create our own motivation. By doing the actions and seeing results, you start to build belief in yourself, you start to show up for yourself, you start to have that little bit more in you. And by doing that, you then start to see the results and then you start to get motivated by your own results. But in order to do that, you need to be consistent. You need to have that consistency there to be able to pick that up to keep going. It's this wonderful cycle. You start off by taking action. You are consistent with that action. For me, that action was walking one hour every single day, being within a calorie deficit. I intermittent fasted. I worked on my mental health and I ate a plant-based diet. They're the, that's the recipe for my weight loss. And I did those things consistently consistently every single day. There was no cheat days. I did every single day. I did those things consistently. And by that then, by being consistent, taking those actions consistently, I ended up with results. And those results ended up bringing me to motivate me. And that motivated me to continue to take the action. It's this wonderful cycle. And there are times in this cycle where it's like, oh, I don't wanna do this. And there are times when it's like, okay, let's do this, let's go. So it's about being consistent rather than being motivated. You become your own motivation. You become your own champion. And when you start to build belief in yourself because you're actually doing it, you're actually taking the action that you said you were going to do, you get motivated to, fin to continue, to finish it. Yeah, that's the difference. Guys, this is the end of the video. If this is something that you like from me, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me out. It helps us out. It helps to grow this channel, grow this community so more people can hear myth busts about weight loss and all that kind of thing. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok as well. Um, if you've got to the end of this, please leave me an X in the bottom, either an X emoji or an X, just the letter. I was going to say number. That's not a number. Well, could be in Roman numerals. 
But guys, I will love you and leave you. And thank you so much for watching and being so kind and so supportive of me. I very much so appreciate you. I will love you and leave you. And please don't forget to show for yourself. Bye guys.